morning tubers it is uh, Monday October the 8th I believe um, yeah my daughter got married I gave away my last daughter my second of two girls uh, on Saturday uh, to a great guy named Ryan and uh, Ryan I know that you watch these so uh, just so you know I'm I'm real proud of you son and I just want you to uh, you better take good care of my my baby girl but that's not what this is about this is about these guys I'm doing an update on my garden I've been away I was in San Francisco working uh, for a week and thought I might give you an update when I came back uh, we got a lot of yellow squash coming up in there you can see quite a few of those guys in there um, that's exciting it's kind of been cool so I wasn't sure how a lot of this was gonna be it hasn't been near freezing or anything but it's been cool uh, the zucchini uh, is it's some of this is just about where uh, I don't know, I'm thinking in a day or so we're gonna be eating some zucchini looks pretty good so um, I'll be firing up the grill that's how we eat it and uh, I gotta get these transplants these guys into some paint transplanted into some uh, grow bags and buckets and get them out here and um, the greenhouse is already pretty full but I have a few people I'm, I'm planning on giving some of this to uh, that are gonna try uh, some indoor gardening and they've got some little greenhouses set up of their own um, and I showed them how to do that they've looked on some of my pre previous videos and uh, anyway they've built themselves a, a small greenhouse for the fall and the winter uh, I've got cucumbers uh, they're producing mad crazy now which is good I picked a few of them already um, tomatoes are doing well I mean some of these cucumbers are really just starting to take off I'm hoping I have enough warm weather uh, left to really reap the benefit I want another round of pickles um, tomato plants are uh, I'm still battling some blight this is some late blight stuff going on but I'm about to um, you know move my tomato production mainly into the greenhouse anyway there's my pepper plants are still producing I'm still getting peppers you can see those are uh, hot. Uh, these are habaneros, jalapenos, they're still producing little green haban uh, jalapenos. I've got red ones, that's a uh, big Bertha. This guy over here is damaged so bad by the blight, I'm fixing to cut it back to about, you know, I don't know, maybe right here and just cut all this off and let it overwinter see how she comes back um, here's the greenhouse and uh, first thing we see is lots of cucumbers these are market moors um, they actually uh, I'm, I'm gonna see what we got on this plant because I have not pollinated this plant at all. If it's been pollinated, it's been pollinated with flies or whatever little kind of critters we may have in here. Uh, I actually uh, did not try to pollinate that at all. Now this one on the other hand, this one has been, I have pollinated it, but I don't think I pollinated that. I know I did this guy. But I'm not sure that I need to even pollinate these things. I think they're doing it all by themselves. Um, anyway, we'll see. Because I know I haven't touched this guy over here. Now I've got some squash. I uh, see. No, that's um, that is a, a a long green cucumber. That's from some seeds I had from I don't know about, about ten years ago, and that thing came up. 
I just got some more yellow squash back here. These are peppers, serrano. I'm gonna try and over overwinter those. Um, I've never grown, actually grown my own serrano peppers. I really love serrano in my um, salsa. So we're gonna try and uh, grow them myself, ourselves. I got these seeds from a pepper that I used in, I think it was in my last salsa video. Cabbage looks beautiful. Um, I'm getting excited about how well those are doing back there. It's really warm in here it is. Can you see that? That's right at 100. Pretty warm. Still have a little white fly thing going on and you see my videos I keep these things out here I'm trying to catch all of them. My broccoli, this is all broccoli, Pac-Man broccoli in the back. Um, it's doing very well too. Uh, as long as I can keep the caterpillars off of this stuff, I have a feeling that we're gonna we're gonna actually realize some broccoli this fall. And I have some more uh, peppers. These are um, California. Or I'm sorry, Carolina. Is that Carolina wonder peppers and uh, some habanero and. Um, Another Serrano up in here. I think that's Habanero, that's Serrano, that's California Wonder Bell. That's California Wonder. And we have over here, this is um, yellow squash. I have two yellow squash. This little guy right there is a self pollinating cucumber that came from Bobby. Um, this is obviously. A watermelon. It's a watermelon. Couldn't remember. I asked what it was. A lot of people said it was watermelon. Well, yeah, you're right. It's a watermelon. I actually don't know what kind. It was um, a gift from my compost bin. So it's not going to produce anyway. Uh, I tried that experiment last year. It didn't. It made some tiny little bitty watermelons about the size of a, a goose egg, and that's as big as it got. And then it uh, it pretty much didn't make it through the winter uh, but I've got tomatoes growing here um, a lot a lot of tomatoes actually on the plants in here we have um, these are brandy wines I've got uh, Rutgers and some big red I think they call them red delicious they're in here there's another self-pollinating cucumber and there's another one now back up in here I'm gonna wrap this up because my wife is waiting on me we have to carry a bunch of stuff back that we rented from for the wedding um, but anyway here's um, some basil this is still hanging in there I'm, I'm waiting for it to all turn to seed so I can save some seed and my uh, experiment bombed None of the leaves stayed green, but I'm certain, without a doubt, that I'll get um, uh, some buds on those rascals come springtime. Um, those grape cuttings are uh, pretty good at, at, at uh, about an 80% success rate on, on putting those guys in the ground like that. So anyway, that's uh, an update on my greenhouse. It looks... Uh, like things are really doing well I wish I could get you know to where I'm able to get out on YouTube more often with you guys and spend some more time out there I got some videos I need to catch up on I did have a question about uh, the tumbler uh, you see my I pulled up my watermelons what was left of those um, sugar babies I don't even know if they're any good but I pulled them up before I left and never took them in. This is an 80 gallon tumbler. It's a lifetime tumbler. A lot of people asking about it. I got it at Costco. I think it was 100 or 115 bucks. Can't remember. Uh, they run specials on them when they're around 100 bucks. I do want to, once we get moved, I want to keep this guy, but I want to either get another one of these or they have a dual tumbler now where you can 
uh, place your compost in one, fill it up, let it go. Just leave it in there, keep tumbling it, let it break down real good, and start placing in the other tumbler. There's a, there's a dual system, and you can uh, that way you don't have to fish out uncomposted material when you get ready to use it. I mean, you just leave it in there, let it go, use out of that one while you're composting in the other one, and just kind of rotate it. That seems to be the way to do it. But anyway. That's all I've got for now. God bless. Y'all go play in some dirt. And uh, I'm, I've got two boys left, so uh, I shouldn't have to take too many more um, breaks away from, uh, from, the, from my, my babies, these little plants, um, as my other babies are growing up and getting married. God bless you. Y'all go play in some dirt. And we'll see you next time. There's a few of them that I got out earlier today. <laughs>